Give me playback of TS-19. Playback of TS-19. What is that? It invades the brain like meningitis. The brain goes into shutdown, then the major organs. But they're not alive. You tell me. Most of that brain is dark. Dark, lifeless, dead. Okay, so this is interesting. Today we have a little bit of a hybrid combination. You know, we have our MIA the A-hole day and we have the TikTok reaction day, but today I guess we have MIA the A-hole TikToks. Two worlds collide. So let's go, uh, let's just start at the top. Once again, I have hot money gossip and I need to know what you guys would do in this situation and who you think is the So the 17 year old guy lost his father two years ago and his dad left him an inheritance. Not never work again money, but a meaningful amount. And recently this guy- All right, can we stop it? I don't care about this. Solve your own problems. Damn! Am I the a-hole for kicking my brother-in-law out after he referred to himself as the father of my child? I'm a 30-year-old female and my wife is a 29-year-old female. We welcomed our son into the world a year ago and both of our families are very accepting of us, but my wife's family has this weird obsession with passing on the family. Okay, can we stop? Pause for a second. Wait for it. Woo! I just need to explain why we do this makeup thing every single time. Why, why do we need to see you putting on your damn makeup? I, I, don't, I don't get it. You want to tell us your story, just look in the camera and tell the story. My father was a drinker. So this made adopting out of the question very early on. My wife and I always wanted to start a family, but things got difficult when my wife found out that she was infertile. Okay, pause it for a second. Your wife and you and your wife wanted to start a family. Well, you can't. He is the one. You, you and your wife actually cannot start a family. It's not physically possible to do. I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. There's no such thing as a, as a family that comes from two women. Maybe that, maybe that should tell us something. And don't give me the, well, they're, they're, they're infertile couples of men and women. And the fact that in principle, two women can never ever start a family. It's impossible for two women to create babies. That might be, uh, that might be some kind of hint. That might be some, some kind of hint. Hey, can't you take a hint? In fact, every child has a mother and a father. That's the way that nature has set it up. And so maybe that's the way it should, should simply be. So we have a, a technology these days, and we could, we could try our best to get around this, but we can't actually get around it. Because when it comes down to it, still, whatever we find out about what, what arrangement they came up with, still, their child is not really going to be their child. It's going to be the child of one of them and some other man. There is another. Because every child has a mother and father and is meant to. Well, the weather is finally uh, perfect, and that means barbecue season is here. I don't want to brag, I do make a mean burger, all the stuff on the grill, I'm a master. The last thing I'm gonna be doing when I'm uh, getting ready to cook dinner for my six kids is driving around worrying about where to refill my propane grill tank, and that's why I'm a huge fan of Cinch. Cinch is a propane grill tank home delivery service. They deliver propane tanks right to your door. They make it very easy for you. Cinch delivers on your schedule, does not require any long-term commitment or subscription. Plus, delivery is completely contactless. You don't have to wait around at home. They'll just drop it off for you. Track the order on the Cinch app from anywhere. Couldn't get any easier. Whether you're grilling for the Sweet Baby Gang, camping with your family, or lighting up your fire pit on a cold summer night, Cinch's propane delivery service ensures that you have the fuel you need to make the most of every moment. Go online to cinch.com or download their app to order. New customers can get their first tank exchange for just $10 with promo code Walsh. Go to cinch.com or download the Cinch app and use promo code Walsh to get your first tank exchange for just $10. That's C-Y-N-C-H dot com, promo code Walsh. This is a limited time offer and you must live within a cinch service area to redeem it. Visit cinch.com slash offer for details. My biological mom died in childbirth, which has led me to believe that I wouldn't hold a pregnancy very well. After a few months of brainstorming, my mother-in-law suggested that we do IVF. Using my eggs, my brother-in-law's sperm, and let my wife carry the baby. Even though I was skeptical, I gave in because the plan hit all the marks. Her family got to pass on the genes, and my wife and I got to start a family. Good pause it. So we're, we're, we're just going to pass over that. Is this Maybe this is why they do the makeup thing, to make everything seem casual. And so we're going to pass over the incest part of this. Okay, so your brother, you had, you're having a baby with your brother-in-law, and his sister is carrying his baby. Right, did I have that right? Yep, you got it. So, and we're, we're, gonna, we're just moving right past. We're moving right past the incest. Oh, you know, we're in this incestuous thing with uh, 
Uh, you know, but anyway, and the only thing that she's concerned about, well, I can already tell you, what, 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 the, you she's upset that the brother-in-law says that he's the father. Well, he is. You are the father. <laughs> okay, continue. We went through extensive counseling and therapy to make sure everyone was on the same page and could handle it. And everything went great. My wife loved being pregnant. Aside okay, from pause it for a second. Pause. Uh, extensive counseling for all of you people? Well, what about the counseling that your child's going to? I'm not worried about counseling for you. You guys are hopeless, okay? I don't think there's any not enough counseling in the world that can fix all this. What I'm concerned about is the child. So this child, his uncle will be his dad, right? His uncle is his dad. He's the one, the child's gonna need the therapy, not you people. I mean, you people do need therapy, but number one, it's too late for you probably, and there's there, there probably aren't any therapists in the country right now who would be willing to tell you the kinds of things that you need to be told. And we were overjoyed to welcome our new baby boy in the winter. But a problem arose when we were preparing for my son's first birthday when my brother-in-law made a comment about how he should get a say in the planning as the child's father. I was shocked, I cringed, and I told him he wasn't. And told him that he was just providing a piece of him, and he looked me in the eye and said, yeah, so he's our child. My wife's jaw dropped and my mother-in-law wasn't making eye contact. I kicked him out of the house and told him that he couldn't come back until he apologized. But he got angry, which made my wife start to cry. She has always struggled with self-esteem and this infertility really took a toll on her. For months, I've had to reassure her and tell her what an amazing mom she is. My sister-in-law later that day called me the B word. And I argued that my brother-in-law had no right saying any of that. All right. But she kept yelling so my I can't, and I- I'm not even, We can't even do it anymore. I think that's, that's enough Emma the, the a-hole for today. Uh, this is what, so this is the thing that shocked everyone. This is what shocked and scandalized every, every, everyone. When the brother-in-law, and even like brother-in-law, I, I use it, we should put air quotes around that. He makes an observation that is actually correct, that he is the father. And that that's what's jaw-dropping and scandalous to them. Not this bizarre, incestuous arrangement that they've come up with. And that they've come up with, not because it's in the best interest of the child. That's the point. This is not about the child. Okay, if you were worried about the child, you would not be doing any of this. Is it in the best interest of a child for his uncle to be his dad? This is unacceptable. When we start cutting nature out of the, as much as we can, and we can't really, but we try to start getting around nature when it comes to childbirth. And then we're doing, we're doing sur- this surrogacy and everything else. Um, It's not about the child anymore. The child is now an accessory. The child is like a means to an end. It's it's, it's what you want. It's going to make you feel good. Maybe for these two, it makes them feel, it makes the the whole uh, quote unquote marriage feel more real or something. And so they want to have a baby even though they can't. And it's all about them. It's not about the child. So who's the a-hole in that? Well, like everybody remotely close to this situation, all of them. A-hole is the best thing I could say about them. And really the only thing I can say about them. Yeah, we're not gonna do it. See you tomorrow. You shot me, you a-hole.